you know, the, the good thing about uh, watching you come into the church, you know, when you first got saved and uh, uh, that the enthusiasm that you had back then is still growing in your life. And it doesn't you, have to, the fire of God can grow and stay hot all your life. You don't have to, like, get stale. You can stay fresh. And, uh, uh, it's good to see that you're still keeping it hot. Amen. All right? Flames burning hot. And I haven't seen you for, Amen. I heard you talk for 10 or 15 years, and I've missed you because that, that's encouraging to Amen. encourage one another. Amen. And, uh, uh, I'm, I uh, drank and uh, drugged for uh, 20 years, and uh, uh, you know, I, when I was younger, I just thought that I was just a wild dude. You know, I'd say, well, I have a wild hair. You Amen. know, anybody ever say that? I'm just, I just drink a little harder than everybody else. And I really didn't realize that I was an alcoholic and drug addict uh, for quite a few years. And then I kind of thought I was, but I didn't really want to talk about it because I didn't want to have to admit that I was. You know, and then, and then finally, it came to the point where it was it was either going to uh, it was going to take my life, you know, if I if I continued on. It was already, uh, you know, it was going to take my family. It was going to take take everything that I had that that I loved and my wife and my kids. And uh, so March 3rd, 1996 uh, is when I got sober. And so now this year, I drank for 20 years, and so this year will be 20 years. So the pendulum. Wow, that's 20 years I've lived uh, for the Lord, you know, and uh, uh, that's, you know, I think about it now, and, and, you know, a lot of us here are got that in common where we basically live two lives. You know, we've got a, a new life and an old life. And I like the new one a lot better. Amen. 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 Yes, sir. And, and, I, and I get tempted from people will, you know, in, in business, I'll be on a sales trip and, and other of my friends will say, well, well, don't you miss drinking? Don't you want to, don't you want to drink? Don't you want to want to try it again? And as you know, I, I really am enjoying my life. That's right. I, I, there's nothing in me that wants to have a drink anymore. And that's a huge miracle in our lives that if you just hang in there long enough, that desire to drink, that desire to do the things of whole life uh, doesn't, you know, it's just not there anymore. But the, the, the key to that is, like uh, Brother John touched on, is to stay in the Word and, and continue to feed yourself and renew your mind and uh, the Bible says if you sow that new life, you'll eventually reap a harvest of blessing. And that's a blessing where you're really just, you're happy. You're enjoying your life. You're at peace. And there's no desire to go back to that old life. And Because it's always that no matter how long you've been sober, it seems like every once in a while, the devil will throw some cir circumstances up at you to try to tempt you and try to make that look good again. But but when you've been filled with the Holy Ghost, <laughs> you can see through those plans. Right? You can see them. And, and the Spirit of God will come up on you and just say, you know, no, don't do that. And uh, you know not to take make those choices and take those steps and do those things and hang out with those people or go to those places that are going to drag you down. Because in the end, you know, it's just going to lead to your death. Yeah. It's just going to ruin your testimony. That's right. And when you got it this good, there's no reason. <laughs> right? That's right. Amen. 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 Amen.